African parents, they look down on us Jamaicans for the most part. I don't know if they'll publicly admit this, but they definitely have to talk to their children. I know, first hand. So you might have to check it. I know Jamaican, but I can only say growing up, you know, I've only had one Jamaican friend. The rest of my brothers and that growing up, they've all been African. Whether they're from Ghana, Nigeria, or Congo, Angola, them man they have all been African. And I can only say I really got one Jamaican friend growing up. See, I'm from Edmonton, primarily Africans in my area. Innit? A lot of people say to me that they think I'm Nigerian, or at least African and that. Now, I know obviously man look Nigerian and I'm 40% Nigerian, done the test. But maybe certain of my mannerisms and that. Um, you know, you are what you hang around with, you're a product of your environment. So if you hang around with Africans and that, you're going to take on certain of their characteristics and their traits, their mannerisms and that. And yeah, growing up, you know, like man will make a few statements and that. And see, I'm a dangerous man, you know. What you say to be told 13 years ago, I will remember to this day. And I remember. One of my brethren said something to me that I'll never forget. And it was funny at the time. Pure ignorance, you think, at the time. But my brethren said to me that his mum told his younger sister never marry a Jamaican because he will bring coke into the family. Now, at the time, it was funny. At the time, you just think, yeah, ignorance and that. But there's a deeper meaning behind that, you know. Literally. African folk, the ones from back home, they look down on us Jamaicans and that. They feel like if we marry into their family, we'll bring shame upon the family and that. You see, Africans, the ones from back home and that, that come over here, not all of them, but a lot of them, they think us Jamaicans, they think we're fools, you know. Literally, they feel like we're the lost ones. And you know what? Slightly, you can't really blame them. We're known for burning weed, Breathing up bear gal. They'll go and watch our videos and that. You know, like raving and that. And you get me, the women, our women, Jamaican women, a lot of them is vulgar. And that. I understand why, you get me, they would think that we're fools and look down on us and that. Uh, it's just pure ignorance though. To the point where like, they see all of us Caribbeans as the same, you know. Literally, you can't tell these African people that are from Africa, back home, you know, the ones that come over here that you meet, the fresh ones and that. Oh, I'm from St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, Haiti, Monstrat. Yeah, you're fucking Jamaican, isn't it? Yeah, they don't, they don't differentiate, you know. What, you're from over? You, you're Jamaican. Yeah? You're Jamaican, you're a fool. They literally think we're a fool. They wouldn't really admit this publicly. If you're Jamaican, watch this right now. If you was watching it with, uh, with an African person from back home, they wouldn't admit, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man grow up with Africans, bro. I'm telling you, they think by default, a lot of us Jamaicans are fools. They feel like, you know, the, the young Jamaicans growing up were not going to be nothing, you know. But it's funny. It's funny. You know, the other day I made a video talking, and I'm sure I released it as well, innit, already. I was saying that, um, I was chatting to a girl one time. And I told her I wanted her to get fired from her job because I felt like, you know, uh, she wasn't getting paid enough, she could be getting paid more. This girl was earning £70 a day when she could be earning £300 a day. And that. Uh, basically, the whole video was about, you know, when you say, you say certain things to people at the time and they don't want to hear it, so you're basically talking Chinese. If someone don't want to hear what you're saying, you may as well be speaking a different language and that. And you know what? It just makes me think, like, you know, it's funny, yeah, like, growing up, because I was a Jamaican and I was around, you get me, my brethren's and certain of my brethren's parents know I am, they know I'm a Jamaican, they know I was a bit of a rebel and that. They probably looked down on me, they probably looked at me like, yep, yeah, he's just going to be another Jamaican foolish statistic and that. But it's funny though. It's funny because if I was to actually, you know, look at the man then that I've grown up with, and me, I'm a man, man don't compare myself to no one, innit? I'm in a race with myself. But if I look at the man then that I go with and that, they would admit this. Yeah, whether they, they, they well, they would admit it to themselves. Certain man, you know, certain man, they got too much pride in it, yeah, so they will never admit it. But deep down, they could admit that Jay is doing better than all of us. 
yet still I'm the only Jamaican, you know. The parents and that. If they knew what man was on, they would actually admit, yeah, that boy there, that Jamaican one that was supposed to be the fool is actually doing better than all of us, or all of, all of our sons, should I say. Yeah, it's a funny one still. It's like certain parents, they spoke too soon and that. Because I could imagine, like, when their sons and that are coming up 16, 17 years old, they're probably thinking, yeah, my son's going to go to uni, do his IT thing, or he get me do his business banking thing, or do his lawyer thing. And it's like, fast forward 10 years, and it's like, in that time, your front door's been kicked off by the police a couple of times, your son's been in and out of jail for selling drugs, your son is still in jail for selling drugs and that. And it's like, the Jamaican fool is actually doing the best out of the bunch. You get me? None of their sons can say, oh yeah, you know, they got properties and that. And you know what, deep down, if they was honest with themselves, and you know what, yeah, this is with a lot of mums as well. A lot of mums, I said this in one of my videos as well, I think it was the one where I took my mum to go and um, see my properties up here in Northampton and that. A lot of mums, they will say, yeah, they're proud of their son and that. But deep down, they're not really proud of their son. There's nothing to be proud of. How can a mum really be proud of her son if he's X amount of years old, still living at home, not really doing that with this or not really making any steps of preparation to get out and start a family and start building his own dynasty and stuff like that. To certain, certain women, certain mums, they will say, yeah, I'm proud of my son and that. But if you actually ask them, which you couldn't because it will be too intrusive, be too on the borderline disrespectful aspect unless you're another family member like an auntie, what are you actually proud of your son for in it, yeah? Lay down and tell me, explain to me what you're proud of for him for. And they couldn't really give you a definitive answer in that what because he's still alive. Or you've got one, two youths, or it's because he's this tall, or what? You know what I'm saying, isn't it? So, yeah, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. Yeah, it just makes me laugh, though, isn't it? Yeah, like I could imagine. When I used to go and you get me and I met a couple of people, they probably thought, because this is what they think, a lot of them, they think that Jamaicans are fools and that. And they probably thought, oh, you know, I would be the one to not, but uh -uh, he actually got it wrong. Like, literally, um, there's some African family that live on my road, actually. And one of the sort of African, proper African women back from back home and that, she said to mom, you know what, your son is doing so well, you know, I'm so proud of him, like, this is, these times, man, not even got no properties or nothing like that, they probably don't even know I got properties anyway, um, I just, I just got a job at home, so her and that, she's like, no, I'm so proud of your son, but not these riffraffs, unlike these riffraffs on the estate, and, that. and I was like, rah, but back in the day, when I was getting in trouble and that, she probably was one of the ones that was turning up her nose, thinking, oh, typical Jamaican and that, literally, Literally, obviously, us Jamaicans, we diss Africans as well, it? so man will put my hands up there as well, it? but I'm telling you, Africans don't want us married into their family. I've even been at a man's son's birthday, and I've seen someone give a speech and that, and a man made a joke saying that, oh, I was disappointed when I found out the girl was Jamaican and that, and we all laughed and that, but the fact that that even comes out of your mouth means... You're, you were slightly thinking it. You understand what I'm trying to say in your car? Who plucks out a joke like that out of thin air? Really and truly, he probably was disappointed that a man went with a Jamaican girl instead of wherever a man's from, his culture. Obviously, there's going to be Africans and that, that they don't care, innit? Yeah, as long as my child is happy, my son's happy, my daughter's happy. But there's a lot of Africans and that. They don't want Jamaicans in their family and that because we feel they feel like we're going to be bringing them down and that. But like I said, it's just funny, isn't it? Because if you was to compare me to the whole squadron and that, the man then would admit, nah, Jay is actually the one that's actually setting trends and you get me? We could learn from him. We could go to, we, if we needed help on how to, we would actually be going to him and that. Furthermore, the parents would be going to be in that because they don't even have their own things and that. Well, not in this country. I don't know what's going on 
overseas and that. But yeah, literally African parents, they look down on us Jamaicans and that. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't, they shouldn't, they shouldn't. But each to their own, innit? People then, if they want to look down on Jamaicans, that, that's called it, yeah? Make sure your door is not getting licked off and make sure your son is on the right path. Make sure your son is not a trapper, you know? Make sure your son is a lawyer or, you get me, he's doing well for himself, innit, it, yeah? Don't be looking down on old people and your son's just bumming around. Stay where it's done, though.